Hello, all of you beautiful Bohoish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Bohoish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. So, happy Monday. <laughs> I think today I have quite a bit of stuff that I need to get done. Um, dishes. I have some laundry. I have to paint the edges of these two paintings and I need to wire that painting. And this is a fryer we're giving our youngest because hers broke down. So I've kind of got stuff going on everywhere. But before I get started, I just wanted to thank all of you. And I meant to do this in the last video. I had so many beautiful, encouraging comments when with the video before the last one where I talked about how art is going to be a, a big part of my channel and how I was concerned how people would take it. And you all were just so incredibly, so incredibly encouraging. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because it meant a lot to me and then the last video so many views and thumbs up and i'm just so very appreciative i've also gained um, quite a few new followers and i just want to say welcome and i'm so glad that you're here we have a beautiful community here that's getting started and it means the world to me so before i do anything else i wanted to say that and i wanted to welcome you personally and i wanted to thank personally all of my ride or dies out there thank you so very much i'm not sure if i showed these to you all or not i think i did show you sammy but i don't think i showed you opal and these are my youngest's kitties and so she requested that i do some portraiture for her birthday so i think they turned out really well. I just need to paint the edges black and put some wiring on them and they'll be ready to go. And then I showed you last time um, the deer that I did for my parents and this needs to be wired so they can hang it up. I wanted to share a new book <laughs> that I got. I think I have a new obsession with this Sabella Court. Cybella Court, I guess that's how we say her first name. I hope I got that right. Sibella, Cybella, I'm not sure. Um, this is Nomad, a global approach to interior style. And oh my gosh, y'all, it is just stunning. The one that I wanted is called Gypsy. Oh, my heart just pitter pattered the whole time that I I was watching somebody review that book, but it's not available. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. I found one on Amazon for $2,400, but the other ones, they're not even, they're not under a hundred. So this one, fortunate, I guess they're all out of print, but this one, fortunately I got, it is used, but it's in very good condition. I think I got it for like, close to $30 on Amazon. But I just love it because she breaks down the color palette and it's just, it's amazing. And just, it's so full of inspiration and that's why, that's why I got it. And there's a place in here. Oh, is this it? Tales of a Sea Gypsy. And look at the color palette. And if you guys don't know, I used to have a Facebook page called Sea Gypsy Spardo, and um, I loved it. I did it for about six, seven years, and I was known as Sea Gypsy or SG. So when I opened it up and I saw this, I freaked out. <laughs> I just think it's so beautiful. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, in this book, she travels 
Oh gosh. Okay, so she's in Japan, Italy, India, Syria, and Mexico. And then there's just, and the way that she does it is amazing because she's documenting all of her travels. She's documenting all of the, all of the things. And I just find it so incredibly inspiring. So I wanted to share that with you. It was supposed to arrive today, but it came yesterday. So excited. Sabella Quartz, Nomad. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just going in and sketching out where the highlights and the shadows are. I don't do a very detailed sketch. Basically what I'm looking for is just the basic outline because for me, I use the paint to bring out all the details, not the sketch. The sketch is just to give me my my baseline for what I want to see in the painting. So I'm trying to decide what colors I'd like to see in the background. The last time, if y'all didn't see, for those of you that may be new and haven't seen it, this is my previous wolf and I was looking for like Aurora Borealis kind of feel and I think I think I got it okay and I don't know if I want to do the same color palette for the background on this one I know I want it to be cool tones so I don't know bear with me so this is the very ugly messy part we're not even to the messy middle yet. This is just this is just the messy beginning. But it's the fun part. Well, I enjoy it all, but just being able to be free and expressive and not worry and everything. It may even change. I don't know. We'll see how I feel as we go on. But this beginning part is a lot of fun. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just laying down the base of the fur, the direction that the fur is going in, and the shadow colors for him. I'm not going to be able to video the whole thing because like I said, this is just the very beginning and this is going to take me probably about, I don't know, four to six hours. And I need to listen to music when I think. And I don't video on a camera, I video on my phone. And so that means when I'm videoing, I'm painting in silence. <laughs> and I don't like to do that. I like to have music going. But yeah, so what I'm doing right now is just getting the base down. And I'm going in the direction that I see the fur going. And... I'm going in with the shadows, the shadow color first, and then I will go in with the lighter colors and a little more detail as I go on. Just trying to make sure that I get the direction of the fur so that whenever this bottom layer shows through, it's got the feeling of, you know, the right direction. It's hard to paint and talk, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and this isn't a tutorial or anything like that. I'm just showing you my process in case any of y'all might not even be interested. I don't know. But um, this is just, this is just my process, a little bit of my process. I'll go to smaller brushes in a little bit right now. I'm using my Big Fat Filbert, <laughs> which I love my Big Fat Filbert. The thing is that, you know, you might look at him and say, oh, he's a white wolf, you know? 
he's, he's just a white wolf, but he's not. Even in the white, there's a lot of brown and yellow and things like that. And that's how you catch all the nuances is when you're getting those details. I said all this is his bottom coat and then we'll add in all the other. I'll see, I'll show you. So see, I'm just working on the bottom layers, the layers that come through. So the white will all be, you know, on top, but all of these little things, these shadows and the darker um, fur that's underneath, that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, he's coming along. Layers, layers, and more layers is what it's gonna take. Well, I took a break from painting, changed my clothes, took down my hair, because everything's annoying me today. <laughs> I, I have, well, you hear the thunder going on. We're having a huge storm right now. And I just feel like my hair up was hurting. My head is hurting, I think because of the storm coming in. My clothes were bothering me. I felt like everything was just, ugh. Do you ever feel like that or is it just me? <laughs> the electricity keeps flicking on and off. And so then that's frustrating too when I'm trying to paint. So I'll probably just wait until this blows over and then I will pick it up again. The puppers are here on my lap. I had heated this up for my back. And of course, Princess Vicky wanted it. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna chill out for a bit until this storm passes over and then I might get back to work on my, my wolf. So, as you noticed, I changed the background. <laughs> I knew that would happen. It's, it's just kind of funny. It's like the paintings sometimes just tell you what they want, you know? It's like when I was writing, my characters would tell me what they want. I would have it in my own mind what I wanted for them, but they would tell me what they wanted. And I kind of feel like sometimes that's how it is with painting. There's a lot in common with painting and writing that I'm finding. It's very interesting to me, but anyway. Oh, what are we gonna do when we run out of this bottle? Oh no. Oh, <laughs> you don't have any in the cupboard? No, I don't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'd have bought a third bottle. I said it in the group chat. He said no, two is plenty. Hey. <laughs> She's the one that drinks the most. I know. Hello. <laughs> what about you? So I am going to do a video tour of Isa's lovely home at some point. It's so beautiful. It's very California chic. This is one of my favorite spots. They're still trying to open the champagne and they're having a really hard time. I can do this. I can hear you. I mean, it's about to pop. It is. It's about Hold to it pop. tight. <laughs> it's scary. Cherie's eyes are squinted. I know. God, we're Wait. pathetic. No, we just need a damn pair of flyers. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! Woo! So happy Wednesday. Yesterday, I had a great time at Isa's house. Ivy and Isa and I went. Ivy and I went to visit Isa. I don't know why that is such a mouthful for me, but we had a really great time. And we did the book discussion on Rebecca. So I think I'm gonna post that as an extra little uh, video because that's all it is, is just purely a discussion 
about Rebecca. So I think that's gonna be a little extra video for next week, so there, there should be two. I just said on Monday how I was feeling irritated and I just wasn't feeling great. And I just, I ended up with such a bad earache. And then it, I felt a little better yesterday. And then last night it was horrible. Today, it's not great either. But I have an appointment that I have to go to at two o'clock. So I thought I would just kind of chill out in my chair for a few minutes, but this is what inevitably happens. <laughs> and Vicky is in my lap. I finished the wolf. I think he turned out so pretty. I just need to varnish him. I'll varnish him in gloss. So he is all completed. I love varnishing in gloss because it really brings out the colors. And then the kitties that have been sitting here for like a week, I finally painted the edges black. So that's good because my daughter's coming by on Sunday to pick them up. So I squeezed a lot into this week's video and I hope that you all enjoyed it. Uh, next week, as I said, um, there'll be two videos going up. I'll post the discussion on Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier uh, that I had with Ivy and Isa. And then there'll be another one coming out, uh, you know, regular content one that will be coming out probably on Saturday. I used to release videos on Fridays. Now it's either Saturday or Sunday. It just kind of depends on what I have going on in the week and what I would like to include in the video. So the painting of the wolf, his name or the title is Arctic Echoes. I thought that was very fitting. I don't know what I'm gonna start on next, but I'm kind of chomping at the bit to get started on one, so we'll see. I am so grateful that you all have joined me here today. If you've been enjoying my content and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you do, remember to boot the bell. And likes and comments go a long way to helping this channel. Again, I'd like to thank all of the new subscribers that have joined us. And I want to thank all of you that have stayed on through everything. I appreciate you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.